Good afternoon and uh, welcome back to BJ Kerning Modelling. So I've worked out it's been about eight to ten weeks since um, I posted the video and um, probably a little bit longer uh, since I actually uh, had a paintbrush in my hand uh, which didn't involve walls or floors or or something else or ceilings. So uh, over the weekend uh, whilst putting some stuff away in the garage I came across this uh, from Reaper Miniatures which is the Bones Kanjira Welt uh, Eater model. So um, previously all I'd done is I'd sprayed it red with Army Painter Red uh, and given it a wash of uh, Army Painter uh, Red Tone Ink. Um, and to be honest it looked a bit of a state in the garage. Um, it, it, uh, some of the paint had come off um, where it had been um, sort of kicked around a little bit um, and um, I thought well um, I can probably get a few paintbrushes, a few few colours out to um, to paint it, and that's what I've done. So uh, I gave it a spray of uh, Holford's uh, red, um, which covered really well, uh, and then just literally just dry brushed from dark red up to almost yellow um, for the skin on the armour plating. Uh, and this is an absolute monster; it really is. Um, it's probably one of the biggest things that I've painted. Um, I'm not quite sure whether to touch the um, horns or not, um, but I was thinking about doing something with them, uh, just sort of give it a bit more colour. Uh, but uh, as you can see, it's a it's an absolute monster of a of a miniature. Um, I don't know what the points value in the games. It's probably two thousand points straight away. Um, but it's nice to paint something uh, from a fantasy perspective uh, rather than greens and tans and uh, soldiers and tanks etc so I really enjoyed doing this and bear in mind I used to use a big dry brush um, and um, for the skin and armour and um, just used a, a regiment brush for the, the teeth and the eyes so very limited palette very limited resource on, on paint brushes um, the Stonework is literally uh, uh, fog grey from Army Painter, washed with um, dark tone, dry brushed with uh, spaceship exterior, uh, and then uh, paint the base um, brown and given it a flock. And um, I think it's it's come out really well. So my plan um, now that the house has started to get back to normal a little bit, um, and I've I've sort of re reconvened a, a painting area my my plan is to um, paint or put, leave the North Africa campaign uh, just for the just for December um, and um, pick that up again in the new year when I've had a chance to um, sort of find it again in the garage and, and bring it back out to um, to um, continue um, I think what I'll do is once I've finished off with the Brits um, I'll probably do a contingent of um, uh, German Africa Corps um, so December, my plan is to um, paint a undead army for Kings of War, uh, and also, if I get a chance, the um, Orc Blood Bowl team from um, Grebo that uh, I showed off in a, in a, in a, in a, in a I think it, I think it was the last video. So that's my plan for December. Um, next year, I am looking at a bit of a miniature drought. Um, I've decided that uh, after sort of looking at my pile of shame in the garage, um, my plan is to um, is to sort of go through the pile of shame and um, try and paint as much as I can. Uh, and if I don't paint it, then um, it'll be on eBay and uh, away. So that's where I'm at. So I'm watching all your videos. Apologies for not commenting, but uh, um, at the moment time is a bit of an essence, and um, I'm sort of grabbing. Um, five minutes here and five minutes there to uh, to add videos um, but uh, loving the stuff that uh, you're producing and um, it's great to talk to some of you guys on discord um, so um, that's uh, that's quite nice uh, to catch up with uh, fellow modelers and gamers so I um, hope you keep you safe and um, it's um, it's good to be back so um, hopefully um, see you shortly with uh, the uh, fully built but unpainted um, undead army for um, Kings of War. So bye for now.